gentlemen, it is finally here. <laughs> So finally, it's a little Christmas miracle, a version of PC-62 that finally works with El Capitan. Now, with all the great news, I must say there is some bad news, which is that I was not able to get PC-62 version 1.2.1 working on El Capitan. Every time I tried to run a game, it would say that there were, there were inadequate hardware dependencies or something like that. So this could be a problem with my max specs or or this could be a problem with the wrapper not being able to interact with the computer's hardware but PC-62 version 0.9.8 does work in El Capitan and there is sound so this is great news. Now before we head to the emulator once again I'd like to stop you there telling you why most of these wine wrappers are not working in El Capitan anymore it is because Apple's introduced something called Apple File Integrity Management which kind of prevents users from accessing a lot of the system files which is also the reason why you cannot edit uh, .pst files on El Capitan the only way to do it is to go into recovery mode and turn file integrity protocol off but I really do not know how smart of a move that would be because it kind of enables access to the root files which in a way looking at it is a safety risk so I wouldn't really recommend it but if you do want to try it go ahead and try it just keeping you informed. So let's open it up and configure PC-62. To configure the video you go to configure then you go to video and then you go to plugin settings and now leave the render as SDL 1.3 software that is the OpenGL platform and interfacing is none that clean total of problems because you experience problems when you set interfacing resulting in the video becoming blank so the interfacing leave that as none hit ok now settings and I'm, I'm giving up no sounds right now because it sort of speed things up a little bit but if you want you can use direct sound it sound works the sound really works Go to system, ISO selector, I got an ISO selector, pick any ISO that you got. For selecting the ISO you hit browse, you go to your thing and you pick. If you are dropping your ISOs into the drive C folder, then you will have to navigate to the PCS62 app, go to drive C and pick it out. Like you go to my computer, drive C, program files, and then you see, you can see your stuff there. This is the source if you are dropping your ISOs into the wineskin wrapper. If you're dropping into somewhere else, you like the downloads folder of your Mac, then you'll have to go to Users, your name, your downloads, and you will see it there. That's where my ISO is located right now. Put a Kaichi 3 right there, pick that, hit open, system, and boo fast. And there you have it Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Tenkaichi 3, which is possibly the best Dragon Ball Z. Tenkaichi game ever because the game is just so spot on with the graphics and everything it just feels really really good so if an animation entertainment presents Orcatron 5000 Namco Bandai Spike and if you hear that really humming kind of sound in the background it's probably because my Computers fans are going haywire anytime it tries to do something intense like play a really good game And while we're watching this game a little word of advice if you're listening to this Boot camping is a really really good option if you want to run graphic intensive stuff on your Mac I know we're on team Mac and we want to do stuff on Mac But if you run the same PC S60 emulator on your Mac with boot camp Everything works above 60 FPS straight up no hassle because it's built natively for this. Even my sorta of old MacBook Pro does a really good job at emulating stuff really good. All PC-62 work, I mean, all PC-62 games work nearly 60 FPS, great gameplay, no much of a glitches, and I get to play other pretty intense games too, like Dragon Ball 2 Xenoverse and WWE 2K15 and stuff like that, so it's a pretty, pretty happy feeling, I guess, because it's just world power and it brings out all that multimedia power of your Mac at least in the gaming field because I know Macs are pretty fulfilling when you want to do graphically intensive editing and stuff like that but when you want a game Windows sadly has a whole lot of firepower coming its way well let's see how the PCX2 is working on our Macs now there you go there's Prince Vegeta there's Pickle Boy and let the fight begin 
So that is PCS X2, and you're watching the principal saints battle the pickle boy in a battle of the ages. Well, dramatic turn aside, you get the idea. The game is working pretty decently on the Mac, and with my specs being pretty low, I bet this is going to work really, really good on your Mac. Now, to get the setup, make sure you have Wineskin installed. To get Wineskin, all you have to do is go to the website. It's as simple as googling up the word Wineskin, it would take you to the website. Just go there, you see the versions available, all right there. Hit the download, go to downloads, hit the download button, and download Wineskin. That is step one. Now that you download Wineskin, make sure you install these two engines. That's 1.7.52 and 1.7.24 Direct3D Boost. That is not really necessary, but make sure you download the engine 1.7.52 because that's the one that's compatible with this version of PCSX2. Get that done. And after that's over, feel free to open up the wrapper and game. As simple as that. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas, stay blessed, and peace, and see you next time. Happy New Year, and once again, a super Merry Christmas. Peace, guys, and stay awesome.